Hey, I'm Paul the Outdoor Movie Guy, and today I'm going to be unboxing a 4K Vava projector. Um, I've actually, this is a, a replacement for a device that I've had, oh my gosh, um, I think it was 17 months. Um, I had an issue with it, and um, I sent it back to them. They extended the warranty, just clicked the button, they extended the warranty. And it looks like they've sent me a brand new one. So I'm going to uh, unbox this. This is one of the ultra short throw uh, projectors. So you basically can set up, um, uh, I think it's about 17 inches from, from the wall, from the screen. From what I see on the box, it looks like they've sent me a brand new projector, not a reconditioned one, um, after the... After the... Uh, fix after I had the issue with it so this is looking pretty good all right let me turn this around so it's easier to see and this is a nice sturdy box um, these projectors are a little bit different than your your normal projector they do have sound built into them which is kind of nice on the front panel yeah this definitely looks like it's uh, looks like it's new right here I'm sure we have the remote, the power, and the remote. And it's always nice when you get supplied batteries. So it is uh, two AAAs. We'll just put that to the side. And then you've got your, your manual, which I'm sure everybody will read. Throw that away. Nice lens cloth, always nice to keep something like that. And then the, the quick start guide. It does show you some info on, on where to, to place it in there. And this is interesting. I don't remember seeing this uh, in the original one that I had. Um, it's talking about the surface you're projecting on. I actually have a special screen for this projector, which is in my office um, to help boost the colors and everything. But they do say right here, Make sure it's a flat surface. You don't want it on the curved wall and you don't want it on a textured wall. So if you were thinking of doing using this and doing an outdoor movie uh, with this projector, make sure that your, your surface, the garage or whatever you happen to be projecting on is a nice flat surface. If there's any bumps or whatever, it's not going to work very well. Um, if you're using uh, any type of inflatable screen, if there's any wind, it can be moving the screen around. And this is not really the projector for that. However, I will do another video on doing an outdoor movie, uh, just like a fun backyard thing with this projector. The great thing is it does have the sound in. It's it's definitely, you know, for, for a small friends and family, if you were doing a, a bigger event, having a ton of people over, this is probably isn't the way to go. But if you're just having some friends over, this is a great way. It's kind of an all-in-one solution. All right. Let's see what else we have right here. And I love the, the form-fitting foam that they've used for that. It's real. It's done really well. Yeah, this is that they sent me a new one. This is absolutely amazing. So like I said before, uh, I had it for 17 months. Originally, it came with a year warranty, I think it was. And then when I had the issues, um, they just sent me a little link to, to get the updated warranty, which takes it to 18 months, which meant my device was covered. And it looks like I have a brand new... For any projector right here. All right, let's get rid of this big box. Cool. All right. And boom. Excellent. So we have mounts right here. If you did want a ceiling, uh, ceiling mount it, you have the mounts right there. And then on the sides right here, this is for leveling. You've got on either side and you'll see this is going in and out. That's pretty perfect. So let's just lay this down. Perfect. So say my wall was right here and I would turn it around this way and that means the speaker is facing forwards and this is where the projected image basically goes straight up and this is not going to be very far 
away from the wall depending on how big you want the image to be. So let's have a look at the connection super quick. This is where your power goes right here. Uh, you have your ethernet. Um, if you're trying to do the 4K, uh, I definitely recommend uh, connecting via ethernet um, rather than the Wi-Fi. Uh, we have the optical audio, uh, AV input, audio output. We have a, a USB that you can actually connect this if you've got a drive and uh, pull content off that. And then we've got one, two, three HDMI ports. Now you will notice there is no um, VGA connection. Um, there's no uh, the, your RCA, the, the red, white, yellow connection on this device. So if you were gonna you, uh, connect something older, maybe uh, the older style Wii, which is an HDMI uh, Wii, you'll definitely need to use an adapt for that. And I'm gonna do another video showing how I can connect my old Wii to this. Or maybe you've got an old VCR and you wanna see some family movies. Again, um, you would definitely need to get the adapter to allow you to, to connect um, that to HDMI to allow you to connect. So there you have uh, an unboxing of, of the Vava uh, 4K projector. Um, like I said, I've had this for a while. They sent me a brand new unit when I had an issue with mine, which is uh, amazing. Um, I do have a special screen for it, so it gives a little bit more brightness during the day. It is, I love this one. I've actually used it at a, at a conference before um, during the day because of the ultra short throw. Um, you can use it in a smaller booth space, which was really good. Um, just watch the lighting on that one. If you're not using um, one of the screens specifically designed for this, you can use it with a normal screen. It's just not going to give you the, the same um, as the, the screens that are actually designed for this. So any questions, just shoot them below in the comments. And uh, like I said, we are going to look at this guy using it for an outdoor movie. Also going to connect some older devices, a... Um, Back in the corner right there, we have an old VCR. Uh, gonna connect that to, to watch some old movies and then connect to Wii as well. So that's something that does not have an HDMI connection, but we have an adapter that should uh, work for that. Anyway, any questions, throw them in the comments. Have a great one, cheers.